Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, MacTech Prospects. Myself, Dr. Manoj, having 12 years of experience in mechanical engineering field, currently employed with Capgemini India Limited. The reason why I started this channel is to share my experiences in mechanical engineering field, what are the career prospects of mechanical engineering in India as well as in abroad, and also what are the tools and technologies you need to be developed in order to grab maximum opportunities in the market. As you know, in India, most of the students, after their plus two or higher secondary education, either they will opt for computer science or information science or uh, electronics and communication. But when coming to mechanical engineering, many students, especially female students, step backward thinking that mechanical engineering demands for lots of physical work. But dear friends, it is not the case. Why I said it is not the case because in the four years of mechanical engineering degree, we have only three labs which demands for little bit of our physical work. They are engineering workshop, foundry and forging lab and machine shop. The workshop is common for all the branches of engineering so we can rule out that particular lab. Second lab is a foundry and forging lab. Uh, dear friends, it is one of the most funniest lab in mechanical engineering because you are playing with mud, you are playing with uh, clay, also you are playing with hammer. So you, you can rule out that particular lab. And the third lab is a machine shop lab. Here, concentration is very important rather than physical work because you, are, you will be provided with uh, some raw materials and you are feeding that raw material to the cutting tool so the cutting tool will remove the uh, external surface of the material and finally you will uh, uh, come up with a beautiful model that's all and there is no other physical task at all so dear friends this particular branch is suitable for students who are much fascinated about uh, machines and uh, those who are interested in drawings, those who want to work in a real-time environment and those who want to explore factory. Lots of career opportunities in mechanical engineering field. Dear friends, if you take any example, uh, whether it might be a, a healthcare, whether it might be a, a automotive or aerospace, medical equipment, energy sector, wherever you see, they require a mechanical engineer. Mechanical engineers will perform lots of roles and responsibilities in various uh, industries. If you consider a manufacturing firm, they require a production engineer, quality engineer, design engineer, service engineer, purchase engineer and so on. Uh, nowadays, uh, most of the mechanical engineers are working in the field of automation, software development, CAD customization and so on. Model based system engineering is an upcoming field which requires lots of mechanical engineers. In fact, uh, most of the aerospace industries and uh, automotive industries are looking for model based system engineers uh, to execute their uh, projects. Apart from these machine learning and artificial intelligence already in the market and worldwide they are using this technology and it requires a huge number of mechanical engineers. Apart from this, uh, there is one more field called uh, piping design which has a huge uh, demand in Middle East countries. Now let me talk about uh, various technologies inside mechanical engineering field and what are the skills or what are the tools you need to be updated in order to grab maximum opportunities in, uh, in the market. Uh, if we consider computer aided design or CAD, there are several tools such as uh, CAD here, ROI, Unigraphic, SolidWorks, SolidEdge, AutoCAD, Inventor and so on. If you learn uh, two or three tools out of uh, these list, it is more than enough. Coming to CA structural that is computer aided engineering, we have a set of tools such as uh, ANSYS, uh, Abacus, NX Nastron, Console Multiphysics, SimScale uh, and also SolidWorks. Uh, for meshing you can use uh, HyperMesh, so the combination of one or two tools along with uh, this meshing tool HyperMesh, uh, you can grab uh, maximum jobs uh, in different uh, sectors. Coming to CFD, Computational Fluid Dynamics, we have set of uh, software such as ANSYS Fluent, ANSYS CFX, Star CCM Plus, Star CD, Flowtherm, Converge, SimCenter, SimScale, Simulia and so on. Just add on to the CFD field, uh, it is one of the most demanding field in today's world. Most of the companies such as Aerospace, Automotive, Energy, Healthcare, 
uh, oil and gas they make use of uh, this particular uh, technology CFD uh, to know about the flow characteristics uh, what is the pressure variation what is the velocity of flow uh, and chemical kinetics and so on. Similar to 3D CFD tools there are uh, 1D simulation tools available in the market such as uh, Amisim, GT Suit, Avial Boost, Open Modelica, Dimola, Femto and so on. So out of this list if you learn one or two tools it is more than enough you can get lots of job opportunities uh, in various industries. Just to add on to 1D simulation dear friends have you heard about Hill, Seal and Mill. Hill is nothing but hardware in loop, Seal is nothing but software in loop and Mill is modeling loop. So most of the 1D simulation tools such as uh, GT Suit, Amazon and even in uh, uh, MATLAB they make use of this concept. So it is better to focus on these concepts and uh, most of the aerospace industries and uh, uh, automotive industries make use of uh, heel, wheel and seal. Model based system engineering is an upcoming field in mechanical engineering and it has lots of demand in today's world. Uh, there are several tools in uh, model based system engineering such as uh, 3D experience, rational uh, rhapsody, rational dose, uh, CSML, cameo and so on. I forgot to mention about few of the dynamic analysis tools such as Adams, Kitsoft and LS Dyna. So using these tools you can carry out multi-body dynamic simulations. Coming to manufacturing field, uh, for the digital manufacturing simulation we have a tool uh, which is uh, uh, Delmia and also uh, for the calibration of vehicles uh, we have tools such as uh, uh, Inca, uh, Adders and so on. Now product life cycle management uh, that is called PLM, uh, automation and uh, care customization these are in a high demand in mechanical engineering field and uh, in fact it is a trending technology nowadays. Uh, if you consider PLM we have tools such as uh, Team Center, uh, Windchill, Innovia and uh, Siemens NX. If we consider automation we have tools such as uh, SCADA, PLC, HMM, ANN and uh, uh, robotics, DCS and so on. And in uh, CAD customization uh, you have to learn few of the scripting languages such as uh, EKL scripting, CATIA scripting and uh, CAD parameterization. Now the last category of tools are the open source tools. Uh, here we have a uh, Scilab and uh, GNU Octave. Uh, apart from this uh, there are few uh, CFT tools such as uh, Open Form and uh, Salon Saturn combination as well as a uh, Fortron uh, based uh, ESU2. Uh, here uh, you can use uh, Python as well as C++ uh, to solve the problem. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any queries, just give me a comment. I will get back to you on this. Uh, so far, I have covered the introduction of uh, mechanical engineering and what are the tools and technologies in mechanical engineering field. In coming videos, uh, I will be explaining uh, various technologies and tools in detail. So stay tuned and uh, if you find my video relevant, just give me a thumbs up, uh, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.